Mr. Ben Israel. Who, what, and who is a Hebrew Israelite? Well, Hebrew Israelites uh, are not made, they're born. They have to fit the uh, prophecy that's in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Uh, verses 15 through 68 and, and because children of Israel have been under a curse now uh, in the last show we did it, it, it at one point part two of servants and cockatrice that shall bite you and not be charmed I was talking about the reference of uh, Louis Farcon when he said we've been under these people for 4,000 years and uh, uh, I miss, miss be spoken, said we've been under 4,500 years, and I meant to say we've been under 2,500 to 2,700 plus years, okay? That's when children of Israel went into captivity because of our iniquity, and that brought that curse, Deuteronomy chapter 28, 15 through 6, date upon us. And uh, children of Israel, wherever they are in the, earth, in the world, and we're all over the earth, that curse you will be able to see every aspect of that curse famine poverty pestilence the sword uh we were removed into the nations of the earth through captivity through you know uh, uh ships and whatnot and, and but i gotta stop you with are only african americans hebrew israelites no because again uh, as we've spoken in the past hebrew israelites uh are in the four corners of the earth they're in every nation of the world I mean, and the ones of us that are on this side of the world, we go all the way from the uttermost part of the South South America all the way up to, to through uh, Canada. But are they only people of African ancestry? Uh, no, because again, the descendants of Esau, uh, who uh, come from the original Esau. I mean, you know, see, first of all, let's just let's just go from this perspective, and uh, so we can get some clarity. Uh, this continent that, you know, uh, the adversary, okay, has called, calls Africa, they don't deal with the actual continent that is Eden, okay? That, that term Africa comes in with Scipio Africanus Minor after he defeated Hannibal in the Punic Wars back in the 3rd century BCE. And so that's where you get this term Africa. They've created the Suez Canal to cut the eastern part of Eden, okay, away from the uh, rest of the part that they call Africa and then they call that eastern part of Eden which is again the continent of Eden which is, they call the major part of it Africa today but they call that eastern part the Middle East so how can anything be in the middle okay so right there everybody that has uh, uh, originated so to speak from that Edenic continent which goes from Euphrates all the way through to South Africa, to the uttermost part of, of, of Western Africa, okay, what they call in Africa, that's all Eden, and everybody that emanated from that will be considered Africans or Etnic people, okay? And, and so the descendants of Esau, they're Etnic or African people. Uh, uh, you got Hamites who originated in that area, that's where they settled, uh, all traversed that area, you know, like the Libyans and the uh, uh, Niger, people of Niger, uh, Mali, Ghana, and so on and so forth.